money moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So today we're going to be talking about hood dudes. American, black American hood dudes, aka street life guys, the street life guys, thug life, the uh, guys who seem to be uh, uh, stuck in a lifetime phase of um, proving something to the hood, aka. So, um, the topic of today's video, we're going to be talking about how, why. Most modern black men should stop respecting street guys, hood, aka hood dudes. So before we get in the video, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the content. So I've been talking about black communities all over the country. And in these black communities, I have been talking about how much value that most modern black men in our seat uh, are not seeing in their own communities. I'm talking about abandoned houses, grass grown over, overgrown grass, uh, um, 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 the window seals falling apart, roofs falling apart, and, and none of these guys and a lot of these hoods in America are looking at this as an opportunity to become a multi-millionaire from creating a business out of in your neighborhood you know so what i'm seeing is is that a lot of modern american black men want to portray a tough life you know, um, if there's a movie plan, the good guy, you know, the, the, you got the good guy who goes to work, who, who has a family, who has a house, a couple cars, you know, stuff like that. He's working hard. Then you got, and, and, and then you got the guy who is selling drugs, robbing people, ETC. And we will see that a lot of modern American black men seem to idolize these men and you guys can quote me if i'm wrong but what i'm seeing is i didn't bet i've been home i was homeless for off and on for like eight to ten years so and in those eight to ten years i'm from the i'm from memphis i'm from down south i done stayed in atlanta georgia i'd have been all over atlanta that means decatur um 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 i'd have been a lagrange uh, uh, Columbus, Georgia. I stayed there. Uh, I've been in Houston. Stayed in Houston. Um, um, Tampa, Florida. Orlando, Florida. And what I have seen, what I see is, is that no matter where I go, you got these guys out here who come from these disadvantaged neighborhoods. Our and, 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 and actually, our neighborhoods are not even disadvantaged. It's our, all opportunity. But you see guys come from these disadvantaged neighborhoods not knowing that they're sitting on a gold mine. You know? Nobody... Oh, okay, okay, street guy. Let, for all the street guys who, who want to talk crazy, I'm, I'm going to say something before you even hit the comments and talk crazy. So you're so tough anyway. So you you supposed to be so tough anyway. So you you got five abandoned houses on your block. When well, you could go to the county, the 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 the, the county um, tax office, and see who owns this property, how much taxes is owned on this property, and you can since you're so hood and you want to stay in the hood anyway. Why not buy? the properties and fix them up. See, guys are not thinking on this level. That's why I'm telling you guys, man, stop respecting 
hood street dudes. The street dudes are making good men scared. Do not be scared of street dudes. Street dudes are bad people. I hate to say it like that. Street dudes are lost black souls. And if you choose to be a street guy, you should come with the, you should understand that that comes with consequences. Meaning that what type of code, I'm, I'm just saying you a bad dude, so what type of code you gotta respect? So you just beware that, you know, if you're a street dude, I could do whatever to you. I could snitch on you. I can um, I put cameras up in the neighborhood and stuff. And I can basically be cleansing my neighborhood. Because what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing while, they, while there's hardworking men going to work, these so-called street guys who hang around all day selling drugs, not buying houses in the community, not starting a business in the community, they'll stay around. And what happens is your baby mother and your girl and your wife who's out while you're at work and she goes out, she sees that she runs to the same dude over and over again over and over again till one day she gives in and then she cheats on you with this so-called hood dude guys i'm telling you hood hood Ameri american black man who portrayed their hood guys has not done anything special for the black community when i say special that's not sad the white people need to come and give you some money so you can buy a house or waiting for God to come and give you something. No, it's, you went to work. If that if that abandoned house is $15,000, you work a year, you get them 15000 it's your house. Now you can fix it up. You know, the abandoned buildings. Uh, uh, Monroe, Louisiana, Mrs. a lot of towns, all these abandoned buildings and black communities. You guys are waiting for somebody to come knock on your door and make you rich and to do it for you. And you got these dumb black men talking about gentrification, gentrification. It's not gentrification. It's just that since you didn't see the opportunity, uh, a Mexican, a, a Arab, a white man came in your neighborhood, knocked it down, built a new, um, um, paid the money to build a, 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 a luxury apartment. And now, since it's a luxury apartment and it's safe, now you got all different races of women coming in there. And so you want to say it's gentrification, but really it's capitalism. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy, man. I want to see y'all on y'all grind, bro. Like, for real. Like, like there's too many houses. There's too many buildings. There's too many jobs that you can create in your community right now. You can you can create your own economy in your hood. So-called tough guys, man, don't respect these guys. If these guys do something crazy, rob somebody, kill somebody, and it's a reward, get that reward, bro. I'm not going to tell you not to get the reward because you could be the guy who gets the the 5,000, put that up on, on the building, and then now you got a community set up for the kids. Sacrifice them. I'm tired of these dudes scaring people, scaring my daughters, scaring the kids, scaring the old people, scaring our, our wives, our girlfriends and stuff. You know, Pookie and Ray Ray, y'all better watch out, man. We coming for y'all next, bro. Over and out.